Our first guest is the original domestic diva. She's, be she's a best-selling author and the host of Martha and Snoop's Potluck Dinner Party. Please welcome the one and only Martha Stewart. <laughs> I would like to give you some civilized shoe cam. Put, put your feet oh, on those. Oh, yes. No, oh. down. Yep, and model them like that. Those are cute. Aren't they the cutest? Yeah. They're very comfortable. They look comfortable. They're very affordable. Are they? And they are. Do you have them on? Nobody else has them on. These are from Payless. They're my new line. Really? And um, beautifully made. Um, and they are $29.99 or something like that. What size do you wear? I wear 10. But I, I brought you a present. Oh, thank you. <laughs> you know, I love a good flat, Martha. Yeah, yeah well, <laughs> yeah, those are pretty, but... No more you, heels. Huh? No more heels? No more heels. Oh. I like okay. heels, I like flats, I like kitten heels, I, yeah. like, I like great big, thick platforms. <laughs> well, they're easy to walk on. They're so good, yeah, they're great, and you break your neck when you fall. <laughs> so happy holidays. Never fall off a curb. But, uh, but I really love shoes, and I thought it would be great to make a line of shoes, finally, uh -huh. in my career, uh, that, um, that are totally beautifully made and very, very affordable. Mm. Nice. Yeah. <clears throat> Do you have any plans for the holidays? Oh, I have so many plans for the holidays. This Saturday, I am hosting my uh, nephew, Christopher Herbert, who's part of New York Polyphony. They're a cappella singers. Okay. And they are singing at Caramore, which is in my neighborhood in Bedford, a beautiful music festival. Okay. And I'm having them over for lunch. We're making a fancy lunch for them. I got the table all set, and the house is all decorated for Christmas. So uh, that'll be fun. And uh, these are young men in the early 30s, and they're just fantastic, oh. fantastic performers. Young men. Yeah, young men. <laughs> Martha. <laughs> My nephew, we're related. No, <laughs> nothing, nothing incestuous there. Do you decorate your house? Um, oh, yes. I would imagine. Oh, yes, the house is uh, getting decorated. Oh, there, there's my two chow dogs and one Frenchie. Aww. And uh, they... Well, that looks doable, actually. They love... Oh, they're, well, they're, the tree behind is um, covered with little, oh, little orange. Oh, now, now that's that. my Christmas. That's my kitchen. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, my kitchen counter has been rendered useless. I'm because blown I have, away. And that's one of, one of my two dining... I have two dining rooms because I have a lot of people for dinner often, so... They said that you have, like, 40 Christmas trees in your house. Oh, yeah. I put them in every room, <laughs> several in every room. Are you going away with um, your daughter and the kids? Yeah, kids? we're going away to the Southern Hemisphere. We're going all the way down to Tasmania. Oh. Which is on the southern, you know, south of the island, south of the big island of Australia. Now, what activities will you do there? Oh, well, it's, it's sort of like going to the Galapagos because there's all kinds of unusual animals. I've never animals, been there either. Unusual animals. Mm -hmm. There's fabulous flora, fabulous fauna. How's the weather? seas, hot, gorgeous. There. Yes, okay. we're, we're very excited. Okay. <laughs> Long flight. I'm sure you spoil your grandkids a lot. They get totally spoiled. Uh -huh. <laughs> but they're, they're worth it. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm, try I'm trying to get my daughter, Alexis. You know Alexis. Mm -hmm. You met her. She I'm trying to get her to let me take Jude, who is seven, to see the new Mary Poppins movie. Yeah. And that's Monday night, the premiere. Wouldn't it be great? Yes. And she doesn't want her to go. Why? I don't know why. Will you, Alexis? Can I please take Jude to see Mary Poppins? <laughs> the softer side of Martha. We oh, love that. It would be so nice. Oh. Alexis, come on now. Yeah, yeah. So, um, have you ever had something go wrong for a holiday? Oh, all the time. Situation at your house? All the time. Like, like you have a party for like 250 neighbors coming, you know, open house, and it uh, snows a blizzard. Yeah. A blizzard. And, you know, I don't worry so much about the guests. I worry more about my house. <laughs> and what people are going to steal or no, break. Nobody steals anything from my house. Mm -hmm. Never, never. One guy tried to uh -huh. steal one, uh, and, and like, a, you know, a, a friend. He, he tried to steal a pepper mill and he put it in his pocket, a pepper mill. Why would anybody want to take a pepper mill? He said he just wanted because it. Because it came from Martha Stewart. That's what he said. Said he just wanted a pepper mill. So are you still friends with him? Yes. He, he, it was a it was a an error of judgment. That's that's how I categorized it. <laughs>
<laughs> so silly. How's your love life? Because um, I think I've always said this about you, Martha. Even before I got this talk show, even when I was on the radio, I've always said that you are a world-class beauty. I mean, you are a beautiful, beautiful woman. Thank you. I, I really don't have t too much time for love life. I have lots of nice male friends. And, uh, and um, you know, they're, they're not r really romantic. I'm not really in a, any romance at the present time. Mm. It would be nice, but I don't, have, I, don't, I don't have that much time. Look at the throwback picture of Martha. Oh. <laughs> yes, oh, oh Martha. Yeah. <laughs> Martha. My grandchildren, my grandchildren thought that was their mother. They thought that was Alexis. Martha from Nutley, yeah. New Jersey. <laughs> Oh no, that was Westport. That's when I was living in Westport in a Vicky Teal dress. But you're dress. from Nutley. Remember Vicky Teal? No. The, the, the dress designer lived in Paris. No. Those are her dresses. I, I wore all. I wore her evening clothes all the time. So no. beautiful. That's before my. I remember Polly Flinder. Oh. <laughs> That's where I come from. Um, but why are you always trying to deny Nutley, New Jersey? Deny? Yes. I love Nutley. Okay. Oh, well, let's talk back. Jersey. I go back. You know, there's this house in New Jersey that has in my opinion, the tackiest decorations. And I want you to take a look at this. They keep it on all night long. The cops, um, the cops have to be paid $2,000 a day by the homeowners to keep this mess going on. There's loud music playing. It's a, in a suburban neighborhood. The neighbors are on either side. It's not a big street. It's a regular house, Martha. What do you say to this? I love it. <laughs> I'm sorry. You to, are from Jersey. I'm sorry to disagree. Oh. I, I, let, um, two nights ago, I was driving in my neighborhood, which is like a really, you know, Bedford. It's very fancy schmancy up there. Big, yeah, but the house big is big property. Apart. Well, on one street, on Route 121, if you want to go see, there is this most beautiful illuminated landscape. It is so great. It looks just like that. But I, I, I didn't open the window to see if there was music playing. I think if they nixed the music, then they could have those that house looking like those that. Those lights blaring in your windows all night. Oh, but it's to fun. Sleep? It's holiday. Oh, Martha. Holiday. <laughs> <laughs> I wish I could do that. I, I just don't have the. Again, I don't have the the time to light up my whole. Hire somebody. Farm. You got it. 150 acres. Wouldn't it be fun to light up 150? Yeah. Acres? Oh boy. You should do it. Oh, someday. Someday yeah. I'll do it. So I love um, you and Snoop's relationship. I got a chance to be on your show. And, and Snoop and I have been He's great. friends for a long time. Yeah, he was here recently, and, wasn't yeah, he? Yeah, he we've said. been friends for a long time and now you and I have become friendly and I love this relationship. How did it come about? Oh, well, we, he came on my show in this building. Remember I had my show across the way? Mm -hmm. And uh, he came a couple times um, cooking, cooking uh, sort of herby, herby desserts. <laughs> Mashed potatoes, a little, a little green in here and there, um, Did and you... and we love, we just hit it off. He was, he's just one of my, one of the guys that I just sort of hit it off with, uh -huh. um, and then uh, Usher. Did you think you were gonna hit it off until? I didn't know. I didn't really know Snoop. I, I knew who Usher was, and I knew who P Diddy was. Right, and, right. And I didn't really know Snoop very well. Right. And uh, and I've gotten to like Snoop a lot. I really, really respect his um, his knowledge of music. His his um, he's really dedicated to kids and sports. Mm. And I so I went to visit his compound last week, in L. A. A compound. A See compound. what I tell you? A compound. Yeah, he has a whole block right next to L. A. X. And uh, he has a full-size basketball court, a full-size green screen room. He has a dance studio. They were working on dance moves in the wow. dance studio. He has edit rooms. He has filming rooms. He has a, it's a fantastic facility. And um, paying it forward. Yeah, yeah, really, really great. And he works really hard. Have you ever hung out in the studio with him? Uh, well, no. I just, I just hung, I just hung out last week. I, we were all really tired when we left. <laughs> do you puff or pass? Uh, I pass. I, do, I, do, I just try to breathe. I just breathe. But edibles aren't a smoky. No, but we weren't eating edibles. We weren't eating anything. Would you? Uh, oh, I've tried an edible. An edible? What's an edible? It's like a little gummy bear or something. Exactly. Yeah. They're fine. You're fine. <laughs> Martha Stewart, everybody, and she's going to stay around for some holiday crafting. So keep it here. We're back with Martha Stewart.
And so Martha's gonna show us some holiday crafting. What are we making, Martha? Well, these are very nice. If you're having any parties, you have any, are you having any Christmas Ugh. parties? Yes? No. Uh, Why not? Because. Uh, Why not? No, I grew up with um, place tags and, and fanciness during the holidays. The Good China comes out and the whole Martha Stewart, except in my mother Shirley's. Well, these are way. very easy to make and you can, uh, and all this stuff is craft product that uh, we design at Martha Stewart Living. And it's available at Michael's or on Amazon. So uh, these pads of paper, look at all the different beautiful patterns of paper that you get in a pad of 48 sheets here. These are so great. Um, so to make this pretty little tree. Paper as in wallpaper? Uh, no, no, it's just, it's just uh, craft paper. Okay. Craft paper. Okay. So fold the sheet in half. You have one there. Oh. Fold it in half oh. like this. Oh. And make sure you're, you use the bone folder, oh, Wendy. The, the, the bone folder. Yes. Okay. It's a bone folder, so it makes a good, sharp edge. Okay. And then you have a little template um, we've designed, a little Christmas tree template. If you have really good uh, paper cutting um, um, zigzag scissors. Did you bring some for me? Pinking shears, do you have pinking shears? I have pinking shears at home, dear. Oh, good. Oh, yeah. But you, but you oh, never, yes. never want to use. It's so funny, a lot of people don't even know what a pinking shear well, is. Well, it makes the nice little zigzag edge, but you don't want to use your fabric scissors on paper because it totally renders them useless. So um, get ones that are going to be just for paper. And I, ma I mark all my scissors, I don't know if you do, but I mark them with little Po a little pea touches. I do! Yeah. You know why? Paper only. Because they're ones that I use to cut my wigs. Yep. And, and, hair and my hair. Only. And they'll have product in them, and so they'll be too greasy and slippery to, you know, cut papers and, ugh. Yes, I do. Oh. Wow. We've got that in common. I don't have, a, I have to now make a scissor called wig scissor. I don't have one. Look, um. So I, once you, once you, oh, by the way, if you have a cricket, do you know what a cricket is? No. Cricket machine, oh, it's a laser cutter machine. You have to learn how to use that. That eliminates all of this hand cutting. But if you don't have one, you do it with scissors. And it's very easy to do it with scissors. What, 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 are you frustrated? It's so much fun to do this. So once you cut this all out, and it's, it doesn't take too long to go around the edges like this, then turn it inside out, and you have a beautiful little tree like this. See, it's held together, see? Okay. Oh, you can't tear it in half. Well, no, um, no I'm gonna use this tracer. Uh, oh, okay. No, side. here, you have this one. Here, we have one right here. No, uh, no, yes. I couldn't finish it, Martha. Oh, okay. Uh, Too much work. <laughs> like, I would come Amazing. over to your house and sit here and watch you do it. <laughs> and then you cut and, out a circle and watch like TV. this. What do you watch on TV? Do you like TV? Oh, I just watched, oh, I was just watching a very sad uh, apple yard tree, uh, apple tree yard. Do you know, did you see that one? No. Oh, well, you, that is a very, it's an English uh, woman, a very intelligent, nice woman, sort of like, I, I, I was sort of identified a little bit. She goes astray. <laughs> and it ruins her entire life. I don't like sad It involves the murder. Yeah, everybody's getting murdered. Oh, everybody's in jail. getting murdered. It, it, oh. oh, burning up in fires. Yep. This holiday season. Violent. Um, Martha, would you ever write a book detailing when you were inside? Well, no, in my autobiography, I will do all of that. So wait and see. When do you plan on doing that? Oh, soon. We're collecting material now. I love it. <laughs> but, but writing your autobiography is kind of like scary because it's too much memory, you know? I don't like to remember the past. I like to think of the future. <laughs> I'm a future person. Yeah. So there's but, your little place card. Look how pretty that is. But we want to know stuff. And make it, yeah, you want to know stuff. Oh, yeah, you're nosy, taking, but I'm not, me forever. I'm not as nosy as you are. So I made one for you, Wendy, and you, Thank come, you. you come to lunch on Saturday and meet the boys. <sighs> and here, that'll be yours and this'll be mine. And uh, do you want to see some flower yes. arranging too? So that's crafting. And now there's so many amazing, amazing uh, craft projects to do. I know. Oh, oh, by the way, if you want to embellish this further, you can use any of these washi tapes. Do you have, do you have washi tapes? No. These are these fabulous tapes that, that uh, are just, you just use them as decorative uh, decorations on things like that. You just put it on and cut, it, cut little pieces of it. You can crisscross them on. It just, it just adds a little embellishment. Nice. You can use red glitter washies. I consider myself a crafter. So far, you, so far you have made I've a mess. I've done nothing. You have I've, made a mess. I consider myself a crafter, <laughs> but uh, like, a, like a busy woman on the run. 
not a lot of time to pay attention to it at the time. I'm a busy woman on the run. I'm, I'm running everywhere, but I still always try to make time to do a little bit of handcrafting. Espe well, do you have any grandkids? No. You're too young. Yeah, you're no. Too young. But anyway. Um, our son is 17 or 18. Oh, eight, you're, you're but, uh, here's wait, the deal. wait a little while. I, when I start a project, I want to finish it right then, like the same yeah. day. Yeah. I am maniacal. I will wake up and go to the craft store at seven o'clock in the morning. Well, that's fun. And See? I will work until three o'clock in the morning yep. to finish it. Well, that's good. And that's the way it is, yeah. So for flower arranging, we, um, we just started a new business called Martha's Flowers for Bloomsy Box. Oh. And it's a subscription and you can, Get yourself a, an assortment of beautiful roses Pretty. once a month, twice a month, whenever, as, as many as you want uh, for a very reasonable price. And they deliver them to you in a beautiful box, fresh, long-stemmed roses. And uh, so good. And when they come home, you have to know how to arrange them. So um, you can cut off the long stems. I don't know whose idea this was, one of my, one of my uh, producers. Mm -hmm. She's cutting all these roses. <laughs> into little short steps. Pretty. But so, um, I would make it in a So as legend boss. has it, uh, Barbara Walters was having this affair with the black senator who was married. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. And then many years ago, or many years later, many years later, Martha ended up dating the black senator. What? That's not true. What black senator? No, I know, I did not. It was not you? Nope, some other Martha, not me. Oh, okay. <laughs> if, All right. I'll but he was one. handsome, I think. Yes, he was very handsome. Nope, it's not me. It's been very mad. <laughs> hey, what's that stuff over there? This? Yeah, the greenery. trees. Greenery, oh, just a little greenery to stick into your arrangement. But see, the little grid that you can build Here, out of on, tape to the makes table. the thing, oh, oh yes, oh, let's go look They're at They're rushing table. us. <gasps> yes, I bet they are. Oh. Anyway, this is our table. Mm -hmm. Now, everything on this table, Everything, that's your place, um, is, um, is actually from our collection at Macy's. Martha, so. you were doing so much. Look, look at these beautiful decorations. What I love are the little tin houses. Look how cute those are. You can do a whole landscape. Uh, you can look, um, and, and all these things are so fun and so pretty. These little houses. Thank you, Martha uh, Stewart, for being here. Yep. Pick up a coffee. I get all of Martha Stewart's <laughs> living. It's on newsstands now.